at all. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether she's glad about that or not. She's <laughs> extremely happy and a very lucky woman. The jury woman. is still out on mm. that no, one. It's only no. been a year. She's a very lucky woman. Seven four, happy. happy birthday. It's 748, 12 till. We remembered that it was. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've already had that conversation. Yesterday we were in a, a meeting and uh, here at the office. And the discussion came up about um, kind of a bucket list or a live like you were dying or what do you really want to do kind of thing. We all just, just chatting. And it, and it turned into a, a lengthy discussion about things that we all would like to do. If we, if we would just take time and knew where to go that we would like to learn to do or like to do that kind of thing. And, and it's coming around, you know, the table, everybody kind of throwing in. And uh, I think Rowdy said he wanted to learn to be a male stripper. <laughs> I think he'd be good at that, don't you? You mean a better male stripper? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean like a professional, so he oh, could get okay. paid for it. Now. Okay. Um, and I think what was it? Michelle said she wanted it was she had something. I forgot what it was. Some kind of of, of um, dog thing she was wanting to do. Uh, like dog training, some kind of grooming or anything like. that? No, it wasn't grooming. It was like you know teaching them to. Do, do tricks. tricks and that kind of stuff. A trainer, mm-hmm. um, and then it came. And I, and I was thinking, well, you know, I'd love to learn to really, really learn to to fly fish. Right, I'd love to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. I think that would be just to be able to go out here and stand in the marsh and fly fish. Or, well, what's it to that? All you gotta do is throw out a line. No, not do it right. <laughs> what do you mean? You just stand there and cast a line. I mean, well, I want, I, I, I want know. a shot at catching something. I mean, I can stand there and flip a line all day, but I want to know how to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? But how? I mean, if you just throw the line out, how can you? It throw doesn't. It out you don't. Do, you don't just do that. Uh-huh. You got to lay it out there and hit them in the nose with it, and, and oh, make so it you gotta aim and make for it them. move just right, and uh-huh. and know which one to pick, and do you want that one or that one, or you know, it's it's there's a lot to well, it. Doug and McElveen could teach you that. Yeah, but he doesn't. He's never here. He he always flies somewhere to. To fly fish. Oh, okay. Well, is there good fly fishing here in Charleston? Well, there's a lot. There's a big movement of um, over the last few years of people saltwater fly fishing mm. in the, and the inland beach. water along the shores in the marshes. And is there a certain type of fish that you're looking for when you're fly? See, fishing? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you couldn't go over to this pond over here and fly fish. I don't, well, I could. I guess I don't know what I'd catch. I mean, out in the mountains, I knew what I, I was fishing for trout. I knew I knew what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's got to be different here but anyway that was and i and i thought it'd be fun maybe um i'd like to take a cooking class i'd learn i'd like to learn to cook like you know a fancy chef kind of cook you know Mm. like over at yokosa well i don't think i've got that kind of coordinate i don't think i can coordinate no i couldn't hit my hat (laughs) i'd have a mess knives and stuff (laughs) there's people around i'd hurt somebody somebody. yeah well i'm pretty sure it was. I'd, you burn, start about, a fire. I'd burn my neck like robert wagner or somebody yeah because like i'd right? burn my neck flipping that shrimp down my hat and stuff <laughs> and I, don't, I wouldn't want to do all that no i mean i mean like learn to you know cook up something yeah, nice yeah. yeah i thought you that would be that. i thought that'd be fun you could do that uh kind of you know live like you were dying if i was if i knew i was going to die in the next year g- give me a couple of things that, that you would want to do if you knew you were going to die uh just because you've always wanted to do it and fly fishing and cooking are your thing kayak Kayaking. kayaking. I think it'd be. I think kayaking. If I if I didn't wear myself out, because I don't think I could kayak very far. I'd be tired pretty quick. Don't you think? No, it's not that bad. I used to canoe a lot. Darlene and I both when we were growing up. Y'all canoe. canoed. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a canoe up in uh, Maryland. Now I'm they canoe. canoodle. <laughs> but I guess that's the, like ca- kayaking. I don't know. I, I'd be afraid I wouldn't be able to get out of that kayak. I get stuck in that hole. Well, I don't. I don't think. It, I'm not talking about one of those that fits you like a glove. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that I want, would be my I want one you could fall out of and swim, you know? <laughs> well, then you want a canoe. No, not that. <laughs> no, they, they make one in between. They make one oh, with a okay. hole you can get in and get out of. Oh, okay. Because out in Durango, I know they had those kayakers come through there, right through the middle of town, and they had some kind of international kayaking comp where they'd kayak between these gates that were hanging down above the water and go over these. Rapids. rapids and stuff and, I, and it's flipping they were going See, upside down and in, in the so that's not the kind of i am i'm not into do. all that no i just want to quiet little float. Float. i just want to float down shim creek you know what i'm saying if you get caught then you can get yourself out exactly yeah if, they, if i start toward the harbor i want to be able to turn around and come back well you guys could do that over at the county parks they rent those uh canoes and kayaks do they well i yeah. need somebody to show me how 
It's not you rocket just get science. In it. Getting in it, paddle. Hey, look, getting in it looks like it'd be a real challenge to me. Going somewhere once you got in it, I, I can, I can, I think I could deal with that. It's just how do you get in and out of that thing? There's I, only, I think they hold it. For there's you. a little hole. How do you, how do you, do you jump up in the air and, and land in it? <laughs> no, I'm sure you don't. Because do if that. you step in it, you're never going to get in it. If you've got one foot on the dock and one foot in the hole of that boat, <laughs> you're screwed. I think you straddle it. Huh? I think you straddle it. I think you pull it over to the bank and straddle it, and then get in and go. How but, do you, how do you get in from when it's on the bank? How do you get it back to the water if you're in the boat? You, with your feet. You you straddle it and then... Like and Fred Flintstone? And then, yeah, you, you, you use your feet to you get you You ride it up. like a horse? Kind of. And then drop in That's it. That's ridiculous. That's the way we did it when we kayaked. That'd be like a... But it, I, I didn't get in one that had a hole. Mm, Maybe that, I was in a canoe. You were in a canoe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just curious what, what you know, if, wow. if I'm, I'm just curious what folks would want to do. Judy said she'd like to learn to make pottery. Well, that's cool. She'd like to learn to turn, you know, that wheel and yeah. like in that movie like where that ghost. where that ghost was you come up rubbing on her. that woman. Yeah, huh? you come up behind her and help her with her pottery. No, she wouldn't be interested in any of that. <laughs> Kiss her on her neck. No, she wouldn't care she's about all that. Pottery. No, she'd be that'd be bothering her. She'd be focused on making a pot. <laughs> Look at this bowl I made, honey. Yeah, would that and been pretty if you had been messing with my neck? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just going. What would you do? You said you would what? You'd want to. You'd want to. Uh, I wouldn't mind learning how to drive a tractor trailer. I, you know, I I've thought the same thing. I wanted to learn how to drive a tractor trailer. Because I used to drive heard. a split axle, ten speed dump truck, but I, I've never, I've oh, never driven a. I want to drive an eighteen wheeler. I would too. That's I think what I, I want to do. I think I would too. Because when Judy things. kicks me out, I could live in the truck while I was working. Is that maybe your second career? I could drive. I could. Like a, to, I could yeah, I wouldn't mind driving a truck for a living. I love those big trucks. As long as it had a sleeper on it, maybe a cab over Pete or something. You know what I'm saying? With a reefer on it. With a reefer on that I could sleep in. Yeah. I, I, heard that in a, that. I heard that in a, in a C.W. McCall oh, song. One day. No, I think that'd be fun. Learn to drive a truck. And I also would like to go to a Major League Baseball fantasy camp, the Braves. I'd like to go down and play baseball at Turner Field in their fantasy camp. Well, they don't do that at Turner Field. They do that in Florida. Mm, okay, I'll do it in Florida. Yeah, wherever they do it. They do it I in Florida. Do, I think they do it in, in, in Turner Field. Do they have the one where you can do in that? In the offseason, yeah. I think they do it at Turner Field. And are the stars there? Is that, is that how some it works? Of the, some of the players are there. Okay. I don't think you'd, you know, I don't think you'd see. You're not playing with Chipper? No, I don't think you'd see Chipper Jones or. Uh, I think they got Glenn Hubbard and. And Glenn Hubbard and Lynn Barker. Might, Glenn Hubbard might be there. Well, he's, he's the first coach. base coach. Yeah, yeah he might be Lynn there. Lynn Barker comes in from that. Video store that he he bought after <laughs> after the Braves let him go. Smoltz is an announcer now. Maybe he'd come down and give well, us some you pitching go. tips. Sure. And of course, Rick doesn't need he doesn't have any fantasies. He's living his. <laughs> <laughs> He's I got. A, I'd like to learn how to shag. Shag. Yeah. I'd like to learn how to dance. I can see you being a shagger. You're exactly what I would think a shagger would start out like. Well, I'm not wearing my pants too high yet. You will. Eventually, yeah, it's it's coming. I can tell. He'll be, be dancing regions. at his own at the parties that he that he did. Exactly, way he well, could. That's what I was thinking. Exactly, he'd get out in the middle of the floor and I dance. Was, I was there the other night, and some lady goes, "You're not getting back to that table till you dance through this line." <laughs> I said, "Ma'am, you're wrong." Mm. <laughs> now move. Well, just, we well, saw you dance at your wedding. You got a long way, long way hit to the go. Button. <laughs> hit the button. Yeah, that was sad. Wasn't <laughs> it? Hit the button. She was crying. Oh, hit the button. Oh, man. Man. Gerald's hit is the, the place for tires and brakes. 